So finally now, let's go back and actually answer the original questions, which were how many bottles will he have after five years and how long will it take his for his collection to reach a thousand. And so if we need to decide what type of equation to use, in this case, uh, the explicit equation is going to be a lot easier to work with. The recursive equation has the advantage that it's very easy to think about. It makes a lot of sense. I start by 437 each year, I add 32 to the previous amount. But this one, the explicit, is much easier to calculate with. So our general form of the explicit, in our particular case, that's the equation. And so let's see. If I want to know the population, how many bottles he will have in five years, so five is a value for n, the number of years. And so I want to know how many bottles I want to, I want p, the number of bottles, after five years. So to answer that question, I need to find p sub five. And I can do that using my equation here my explicit equation, 437 plus 32 times 5, because 5 is my value for n. Uh, so 32 times 5 gives me 160. I go ahead and add that to 437. I get 597 bottles in 5 years. And that answers our first question. Now to answer our second question, which was how long will it take to, for his collection to reach, uh, a thousand, notice we're looking for how long. So in this case, we want n, the number of years, for his collection to reach a thousand, which means when p is a thousand, in other words, when he has a uh, thousand bottles. And so in my equation here, I don't know the value for n, but I know the value for the population for the number of bottles. And so this thousand is going to go in for the population for the number of bottles, and I'm going to have to solve for n. So really, th we're, there's two things that we typically do with equations or functions or models like this, and that is either evaluate them, which is what we did when we found out how many bottles he would have in five years, or we solve them, which is what we're doing here, uh, when we're trying to determine the input that would give me an output of a thousand. And so now I can solve this by subtracting 437 from both sides giving me 563 equals 32n. Divide both sides by 32. It tells me n is about 17.59. That's an approximation. Uh, but of course, he doesn't actually buy the bottles uh, mid-year, and so in our case, we'll go ahead and say he'll have well, actually, maybe he does, so maybe he'll have it after 17 and a half years. But let's go ahead and approximate here and say, so he'll have a thousand bottles in about 18 years. And now we've been able to solve this problem using that explicit linear equation.